When it comes to forestry, we've come a long way from axes and checked shirts. In the UK, forestry is a modern, multi-purpose and high-tech sector which balances economic and environmental needs. Not only does it deliver jobs and economic growth, well-managed woodlands of conifers and broadleaves also encourage wildlife, reduce carbon and provide healthy places to enjoy nature. We use wood products every single day. It would be impossible to imagine life without them. But how does this industry operate and who are the people that make it work? This is UK Forestry. The UK has a wonderful mixture of old and new forests, each providing opportunities for people and for wildlife. Yet only 12% of the UK is woodland, less than one third of the EU average. We need to plant more trees and manage our woodlands responsibly, working with local people to create modern forests made up of a mixture of species. It is more than just management of the conifer woodland or a bit of broadleaf woodland. We have to look at the whole woodland structure as a one We're consulting with local communities, environmental protection agencies, local archaeology groups. It's about trying to find a balance, using the land effectively, but doing that in a sensitive way. From these modern forests, both large and small, we will secure a supply of renewable wood products now and for the future. The trees take about 30 to 40 years to grow. When they're mature, we'll harvest the trees. They'll go to a lot of local markets, anything from pallet wood, uh, fuel wood, right up to construction grade timber. My job is driving harvester. It's a demanding job because you're at the front all the time. It started when I left school at 17. And I think it's because we live in a rural area uh, with forestry round about us. So we lived in amongst it, so that's how we started. And progress for chainsaws right up through to the high-tech equipment that we're operating now. When it comes to managing smaller, mixed woodland, the process is different. Small-scale felling is commonplace, and a forester will select a tree for felling, often with a plan for the final wood use or product. We want to promote the fact that there's lots of different species, including a lot of different hardwoods, which can be used more productively than perhaps they were thought of in the past. There's new markets which are now available for the sale of timber, such as uh, the firewood market has obviously brought a lot more value to these broadleaf woodlands, and there is a, an income which can be made from that. We work principally in hardwoods. Ben, our sawmiller, is also a tree surgeon, so he has a wide range of knowledge of where the wood comes from, and so do we. So there's a big network of focus on timber procurement and making the best use of local hardwoods and softwoods. We are harvesting and converting the plantations of the past into the forests we need for the future, creating multi-purpose woodlands with a range of tree species and ages that fit more naturally into the rural landscape. That then gives us the chance when we replant the trees we can create a new structure following more natural features like watercourses and ridge lines and that helps the forest to fit much better into the landscape. UK forestry is built on a network of often family-run businesses working together to perform their role in the supply chain. Everybody knows everybody else and strong relationships are key. In some parts of the UK, this network is a cornerstone of the local economy. In this region there are a lot of small family farms, whether it's you know haulage like ourselves, and I think that's because the region is heavily dependent on the timber industry and it provides a lot of jobs for a lot of people in the region and a lot of that has stemmed from small family businesses developing into larger larger companies and, and employing more people. 
We follow an agreed routes map which has been set up that is specifically for timber haulage. So there are specific routes that we have to use that allow us to avoid vulnerable communities, weaker roads, and it's purely to try and sustain an environmentally friendly and socially friendly approach to timber haulage. Processing softwood requires a large scale and highly technical operation. Logs are delivered daily in their thousands and the UK's world leading sawmills have developed highly efficient procedures to deal with the influx. Laser scanning and 3D mapping the timber to ensure maximum yield from the tree. Nothing goes to waste. Yeah, modern forestry is very much a, a high tech industry. Uh, to achieve our 100 lorry loads of logs a day we need on site here, we need very efficient, accurate harvesting machinery working out in the woods. We need a very close-knit supply chain bringing those logs into the sawmill and we need high-tech, sophisticated processing machinery to enable us to handle the volumes of logs that we're cutting to meet our customers' needs. Once a selected tree is felled, it can be processed in small-scale, often mobile, sawmills. The wood is cut depending on the product for which the tree has been designated. So we know the wood very closely. We choose the wood and then we process the wood. We dry the wood. We see it throughout the whole stages. And in becoming familiar with that, we can make the best use of it. We don't use imported timber. We use local timber. And we have very high standards and we produce very high quality work. The products produced in the UK forestry industry are all around us. From hardwood furniture to the MDF and panel board forming the basis of the kitchen units in your home, the forestry industry is a vital piece of the way we live our lives. In order to replant our forests, we need to raise the value, we need to be able to raise money, and the only way we can do that is not selling logs at the side of the road, it's about the end product. You know, buildings, furniture, the things that have much higher value. If you look at us as a company, we're a sizeable company. We use something between 15 and 20% of all the wood in the UK. And the reality is that our product is ubiquitous. You might not see it, but it's either in the house in your furniture, and if you're sitting watching this film, then you'll see anywhere around you in the house, there'll be wardrobes, desks, kitchens made of our product. You might not think about it, but it's there. Or alternatively, it's in your house, in the fabric of it, in the walls, in the ceilings, in the, in the roofs, in the floors. Our product is, is all around you every day. We're building more and more buildings in wood. Partly it's for environmental reasons, partly you might say it's architectural fashion, but it's also because the kind of buildings we can do in wood have changed. We can do large span structures, we can do taller structures. All of that is locking up carbon. So we're doing valuable things for the environment, valuable things for the climate by making more timber buildings. There's so much we can achieve by planting more trees and creating more forests. The current success of the sector is due to the foresight and ambition of people in the past. We owe it to future generations to make the right choices now. Once the site's been harvested, we we'll always replant the site again, and there'll still be a core productive element to that site but we'll plant some other species as well and once we get the crop maturing again at 30 or 40 years the whole cycle starts over again. Forestry has come a long way in the UK. It is a cornerstone of the rural economy and wood products are everywhere in our lives. And as we try to balance the economy with the environment and people's needs, forestry has never been more significant than it is today. But with UK tree cover much lower than our counterparts in Europe and demand for timber on the rise, what is the next step for this essential industry? We need to plant more trees to improve our economy, our environment and people's lives and to ensure we leave a legacy for future generations. <laughs>